We have a $50 donation from Silius Buns with no message, but thank you for your donation. All right, I'm getting word that we are ready for Resident Evil 2 2019 by Hazeblade. Take it away, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Hayes Blade. I'm a full-time content creator from Columbus, Ohio. A professional speedrunner, musician, audio engineer, video game designer, U.S. Navy vet, and uh, I think we're here to run some Resident Evil 2. Oh. What about you guys in the audience? You guys have fun at TwitchCon? Oh, yeah. Awesome, awesome. We're going to keep this thing going just a little bit longer, and we're going to run some Resident Evil 2. Uh, before we do that, let's uh, get some intros on the couch. We have the amazing skateboarder, Mr. Waifu. We have Maxi Lobes, biggest Lobes on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And we have the man, the poultry, the broth, Mr. Bok Basu. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be Leon A. And uh, we've got, we had some incentives. We had a bid war. And to, from what my understanding was, we had the classic soundtrack one. And we've got a costume to pick. And uh, Bach, how do you feel about this, this costume selection here? We've got all these amazing costumes as we, oh, we discussed back at SGDQ. Don't tell me they picked 98 again. Please, it's God. gonna be noir. Let's <laughs> oh, do yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe the last year was. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we are not gonna be using the filter though. Other, you know, silent horror. You know, it is, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna put Claire in noir too, just for you know, just cause. By the way, we're already halfway to tofu. We're over three thousand dollars. Oh, oh heck yeah, yeah. halfway there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened. All right. So the timer will start when we skip the second cutscene. Uh, we actually timed this off of the IGT. That's when the timer will start for us. And uh, I'll give you guys a countdown beforehand. Look, man, I'm serious. Burger. Mm. Look, man. Look, man, we're running Resident Evil 2. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh yeah, here we oh, go. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Mm -hmm. Turn it off at the gas station. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so starting off in the game, uh, there's a couple of different minor glitches that we're going to be performing in order to optimize our movement. Uh, one of them has to do with uh, basically getting a little bit of a boost upon skipping cutscenes. You want to hold down the move forward and press shift as soon as you see your character pop up on the screen. All right, Frank here. Frank here is in our way, and we're going to need to take care of him. Oh, 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 no. oh You're not allowed to swear at GDQ, Leon. Oh, Come on, man. Gosh. That was a good intro, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least he didn't tackle you to the ground. That's, yeah. that's true. Sometimes he'll actually do a, uh, he'll do a thing where he, like, does some dodgeball strats and just, like, jukes in front of you. Mm-hmm. Buck don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you'll notice in the top left corner, you'll see a frame rate counter there. This game is uh, pretty interesting in terms of frame rate. So. The knife, which we'll talk about this a little bit later, but the knife is actually bound to frames in the game. So it's not necessarily that it does more damage, but it registers more hits. And so what we've done in order to make this a valid run is we have limited the frame rate to 120 frames. You'll sometimes see it, it hit 121, but um, as long as it's not going like way above that, it's okay. And uh, the reason we did that is because we didn't want the game to be pay to win, so the community decided that the best way to kind of make it fair for everyone was to split it into a few different categories uh, to allow people that wanted to run at 60 FPS, um, if they didn't have as, as powerful of a PC, to run at 60 FPS, and people that, that could run at 120 could then run at 120. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that, was a, that was a big thing at the when this game first came out. Just oh, yeah. Because like the higher FPS, the way the faster the boss fights are. Yeah, I watched a wolf knife G1 in like nine hits one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you'll also notice that as I'm turning corners, uh, you'll notice a little green crosshair come up. And so what I'm doing is I'm doing a quick turn. And so I'm releasing my move forward key while hitting either A or D, depending on whether I'm going left or right. And triggering an ADS, which forces your character to stop moving a little bit quicker. Hurry. Hang on a second. Open Elliot here is about to be uh, getting some bad RNG. Oh, sorry. Sorry, man. So normally you would pause the game here to trigger an RTA, but um, an RTA event. But since we're 
running on RTA at GDQ, it's not necessarily as significant, but we should be okay. Nice. Those two zombies control you sometimes, and uh, it's not pretty. No, no. Does anyone know what started this? Hey, Marvin. Bye, Marvin. <laughs> So another technique in this game, uh, there's really two that we're going to be talking about in this section, but we have uh, stair skating, which is where you kind of, in a certain rhythm, you're going to use the aim down sight or the right mouse button, and it allows you to skip the animation that plays whenever Leon or Claire, if you're playing as Claire, is running upstairs. So it also gives you a little bit of movement there. Here's a, another example of the stair skate, or the uh, quick turn right there. Nice. Another thing that we're going to be doing is what's called, uh, there's, there's two methods, there's double inputting and triple inputting. And so what happens is we actually can bind the interact or the action button to three different keys. And so when you're picking up items, depending on whether you're moving or not, if you're moving, you'll probably double input. If you're not moving, you can get away with a triple input. But you can actually trigger the interact uh, a couple frames early just by, by pressing the buttons significantly faster. We've got a zombie coming up here that is a, pretty much a run-ender early game. So we're going to hope that he behaves. Uh-oh. Nice. Oh, good. He, you, sir. he is a jerk sometimes. This is yeah. basically like the big reset point. Oh, yeah. We're going to grab the spade key. Now, inventory management is another pretty important part of this game. Uh, I'll explain this. Oh, he's, he's way far, far back compared to what I thought he was going to be. Um, so you want to set up your inventory in a way that allows you to get to items quickly. So I've actually, instead of putting the... I'm going to try to get by him without getting grabbed. Oh, there's, nice. Nice. <laughs> there's a chance he'll grab. All right, I should be able to get by this guy. Very nice. Oh, wow. And so you'll want to lay out your inventory as such to where within usually uh, one navigation of the menus, you can, you can trigger an item. We're going to skip this Marvin cutscene here. We're going to go meet up with Claire. That was a pretty clean section. Yeah, that yeah. was very clean. Nice job. Thank you. Yeah, that is a very scary part of the run, from the gas station to that point. Yeah, very important section of RPD, especially because you're on staircases. And uh, when you get bit by a zombie, they'll, there's obviously going to be an animation of you getting grabbed. But on the staircase, they, they don't grab you. They throw you to the floor. So All right, it's it's even this more helicopter right here, we can aim down sight. And we can actually launch forward instead of backward. That's a little time save there. Mm -hmm. Real quick, we're less than 1,500 away from Tofu. Very oh, nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. Ooh, ooh. Sweet, that incentive. All right, now we are praying that our friend Callahan here, the, the community members have actually named some of these zombies. <laughs> and uh, so Callahan is the name of the cop that broke in earlier, and we are praying that he is not here. Yes, it's horrible if he shows up here. And he's Yay. not there. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Callahan. He's, he's down the hall. You can see him. We'll, Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to go ahead and grab the, the valve handle, which we're going to need that a little bit later. We also need a fuse so we can get out of here. There's a fire upstairs, so uh, we need to grab some items over here and uh, remove the chair from behind that door. Some zombies back there, the ones that we dodged earlier. And now would be a good time for some donations. Sure. We have a $25 donation from Seth94 who says, So hyped to have my guy Hazeblade running one of the best games of this year at one of the best events of this year. Good luck on the run and congrats to all of you supporters. Also, shout out to Anne Eternal Enigma for the amazing hosting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Seth. I appreciate it. We have a $20 donation from Jared R who says, Just found Hazeblade's channel on his last stream before GDQ. Love the horror game speedrunning community. Love, that you, love what you guys do. Hey, Balk. Hey, Maxi. Hello. Hi. All right, we're going to have a pretty complex menu here. It doesn't look like it, but it's actually incredibly hard. Um, so basically, this game, for some reason, it decides that it wants to like swallow your inputs. And you can get into a situation where you'll press a button, and it just, it just won't, it won't do it. <laughs> Mostly happens with discarding. Yeah, discarding items is probably the hardest thing in the whole game. Well, yeah. In my opinion, it's killed the most runs, at least for me. All right, there's the valve handle. Uh, we're using that. We picked that up a little bit earlier. And next, we are going to one of the more iconic rooms in the game. Uh, we are headed to the star's office, where we need a battery for the detonator we picked up earlier. Oh, there's a liquor. We're hoping for good RNG with this liquor. We're going to go ahead and do the combine as we pick it up. 
And we're going to do a, an interesting nip here and hope that we get it. Ooh, this, okay, you got stuck on the... You got stuck on the shirts there, but it's gonna be tight. Okay, we got oh, lick the there, lick. but that's, that's only 100 damage, so we're okay. Yeah, that's not bad at that's all. That's good RNG considering. Uh, all right, turned, so it's... And he turned around and looked at the liquor there. That's because the liquor is AI in this game. Whenever you're looking at them, they get really shy. They don't no, want to hurt you. No, that is the hardest part in the game. The medallions, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> like, the runs they end, sadly. Yeah. yeah, every single medallion puzzle uh, is it's the same answer to the puzzle, but the where the placement is of each dial is random every time you play the game. So the yeah. amount of times you got to turn them, it, it's just it's just completely random. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set that detonator, and we're gonna perform another glitch here. And this shelf normally falls over in a casual playthrough, but when you go through this door and come back through, it actually won't knock that shelf over. Mm -hmm. And fun fact. You don't technically have to do that. A zombie can do it, or Mr. X can do it, and the same thing will happen. The shelf will stay up. Mm. That was a good medallion puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, this is going really well so far. Do we have For time? <laughs> we have time for one donation? Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. We have a $50 donation from Mr. Charisma, who says, another 100 if everyone can yell, doors locked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three. Oh, 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 okay. There, you go. there you go. There we go. Unfortunately, we don't actually well see Mr. Mm -hmm. Irons in this in this run, but we're gonna see Ada. That is true. We do get yeah. That is true. Man. <laughs> oh, I forgot to I forgot okay. to discard the spade key, so it's gonna slow me down a little bit putting these medallions in, but it shouldn't be too bad. So some quick menus here to deposit our medallions. I'm gonna have this one's gonna be a little bit slower though. There we go. And then we'll discard that here in a moment. Well, when we're in the elevator, we'll go ahead and give it a discard. We got time for yeah. like one more donation. Oh yeah, sure. We have a twenty-five dollar donation from Digital Zero, who says, "Longtime viewer, first time donator. <clears throat> I'm excited to be able to donate to my buddy Hayes Blade's run of RE2, but I only have one question: minigun percent win." <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, thank you, Digital, by the way. Thank you. Um, and so, yeah, there's, there's unlockables in this game. You can actually get minigun, you can get a rocket launcher, uh, actually an infinite knife, because we're, as, as we're about to figure out here very soon, uh, knives can actually break in this game. So it's, you do have to be somewhat resourceful when it comes to like, planning how you're going to uh, use the knife throughout the run. And so now we're coming up on the first boss of the run, Mr. G1. This fine gentleman here injected himself with the G-Virus. And we're not having any of it. So th now you can get some juicy knife flashes here and kind of take into perspective just how powerful this knife is at a high frame rate. And there Very we nice. go. That's G1. Nice. Man, the knife is disgusting in this game. Pretty <laughs> funny because it's complete garbage in all the other games except Code Veronica. Yep. All right. What do you think, Bob? Do you think the my knife is more powerful in here or Code Veronica? They're both oh, pretty powerful. Here, here, here for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 200 plus frame rate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is true. Which is going back to the whole capping at 120. It's the reason why it's capped. Yeah. It's just, it's way too pay to win if you don't cap it. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. For sure. And we do still have a little bit of durability left in this knife. We won't be using it for really offensive combat at this point. It's kind of a backup. It's, it's going to be used as a backup in the event that we get bit. It's a little faster and we'll avoid some damage that way. Yeah, and routing where you use your knives is where the difference between the different FPS categories mainly comes into play. It's that big of a factor that you have to make sure you really use them in everywhere you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So now this is the part where um, if you're playing as Claire, you would be meeting up with Sherry to find Chief Irons. But for Leon, uh, we are about to find out who he's meeting up with. A mysterious woman. Hey! I'm not a, done talking to It you. looks like a, a trench coat, I would assume. It's something like that. And uh, we're also going to be meeting a third character, which... <laughs> he doesn't get as fleshed out in the remake as he is. I mean, they, they're really not fleshed him out in, in either of the games, but he doesn't get nearly as much screen time in this game as he does in the classic version of RE2. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ben. But he's dead now, so <laughs> he's already he's already gone. Um, you actually have a couple of interactions with him in the classic version of the game, but yeah, they didn't they didn't uh, they didn't spare him any expense in this game. <laughs> At least he had a cool death, though. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But he um, he was trying to make us a deal shortly before his death, where he would, uh, in exchange for letting him go, 
he would give us a garage card. But unfortunately, Leon acted quite a bit slow and uh, was not able to retrieve that card. And so now we have to go do stuff in RPD to get inside of that cell, which we probably would have done anyway, except now, this time, he's not alive. So Le Leon doesn't know all the speed strats. Just to jump in real quick, we're approximately $1,000 away from Tofu. Oh, very please. nice, very nice. Let's get that tofu. Tofu is a fun run. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, if you remember from SGDQ, uh, Bakwa Soup ran uh, the fourth survivor. Okay, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and tofu is a knife-only version, and it <laughs> is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> and you also only get one full heal, so there's, there's only going to be about a 70% chance of, uh, of that succeeding if, if that's what happens. So. Yeah, it's a very scary run. I think it's this one. Nope, it's not that one. I always get the A and B scenarios one backwards on this puzzle. I've been running a lot of Claire lately, so... This puzzle is not featured in Claire's run. You only do this one uh, when you're going up to G2. Then you'll perform that one. Uh, which is a, a slightly different solution since you actually hit three instead of two. And this is the part of the game where the, the meme... The dogs, the dogs are free comes free. from, yeah. Dog, dogs are free on this one, right? Yeah, dogs mm -hmm. are free. Dogs are always yeah. free. Generally speaking. Except yeah, for when they're not. It's impossible to get hit here. I've never been a bad pupper. All right, so this line is, uh, really all the lines here are pretty specific in order to get consistency. When you come around this corner, you kind of want to position Leon's head like right in the opening where that hallway is. That zombie's going to lunge and he'll miss every time. Mm -hmm. That's free. That's so free. So free. Dogs are free. Now, one of the coolest dodges in the game is coming up here. If, if you're doing it, I'm not sure the strats. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> so we need another fuse, which is going to be in this hallway here. And so we're going to go ahead and grab that. And we do have a knife here just in case we get bit. As long as we don't get uh, bit from behind, we're, we're going to be okay. So let's see. Bless RNG. Nope. We didn't get it. That's okay, though. That's what that knife is for. I'm hoping it just doesn't... There we go. We're okay. Oh, he still got me. That's all right. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, it's a party now. Smoochy, smoochy. That's a, that's a tough dodge yeah. to get. It's very, very specific, and if you don't get it, it's, the chances of this happening are pretty high. Yeah, but in the, it's good that there's a couple herbs up yep, ahead anyway. We actually have a green herb right at the top of the staircase, so uh, we'll be able to get back into fine. You, you don't actually, unfortunately, you don't move faster in caution with Leon, but um, yeah. you do actually, uh, your stair skates, I do not want to discard that. <laughs> um, your stair skates are a little bit slower. Uh, where, where am I going here? We're going for the, I think I'm doing a Claire strat right now. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need to go, oh, I, go, I need to go use the handle. Oops. Yep, we're going the, kind of the wrong oopsie, way. Oopsie, oopsie. I told you, I've been running a lot of clear yeah, lately. So. Like, and that's the that's crappy it. thing about this game. When you're switching categories so often, every category has a slightly different route, so... <laughs> yeah, we're okay. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't detour more than a couple seconds out of the way. We're, we're fine. Uh, yeah. We could probably sweep in a couple donations yep. oh, right yeah, here. Oh, yeah, for sure. We have a $5 donation from Anakino, who says, as much as I love my man Leon, we need to end this GDQX with some delicious Mr. Tofu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that we're going to grab is the uh, large gear, which we need in the clock tower a little bit later. So we'll grab that. There's zombies in here, but we don't, we don't see them on Leon's campaign. That guy was unhappy. Mm -hmm. And Leon is too heavy, so he breaks the ladder. <laughs> He can't go that way. We have another relatively specific line coming up here. Uh, this zombie is going to break through the door, and if we kind of run at an offset angle here, we should be able to squeeze right on by him there without getting hit. Yeah, that's a tricky dodge. And then it's tricky getting out as well. There's a little energy yeah, getting, involved here. Getting out is even harder. Whoa. Nope, not yes, today. I hope he's not at the door here. There we go. He's, he's not there. there. You're good, oh, yeah. He's there, but he's, off. he's out of the way. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Whoa. Oh, he, he heard you, he heard you, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. Shrink that side. never happens, by the way. Um, there will be another opportunity to heal up here pretty soon. Like I said, we don't move slower in caution except on the stairs. So, so we'll be okay. Uh, there's another herb, though, where we're going. So, uh, so now we're moving into... Uh, they're they're going to be throwing a, a twist in the plot. Monka uh -oh. X. The man there we the go. Man. We're going to aim at him here, and he's going to do this, like, punching attack, and he's, he's not, he's not going to land the attack. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and sweep around this side and we're gonna do some more stair skates. We're gonna run away. And there's a green herb right here, uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll grab that. There's a few green herbs around. But I think I'd rather... that one's the most convenient. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. And the, the next one coming up. I need to get rid of that handle. You can really get rid of that handle at any time. Uh, as long as you do it after you pick up the club key, uh, in, order, in order to set up a menu, that makes a little bit more sense. We're also going to pick up some ammo here because we're running a little bit low. And we're going to do a quick reload. I do need to burn around, so we'll go ahead and burn around as we're shooting the liquor here just to make sure that I'm full. Uh, we, we don't have really much inventory space to spare. I did pick up an extra pouch, but... And he shoots that liquor because it manipulates his AI. When he shoots the liquor, it knows that he attacked him. And then when he goes into this room, he'll aggro and go to the other side of the room. So he shouldn't be in the way when he gets out of here. Yeah, he should be gone. We're also going to kind of run around this zombie here. He shouldn't hit us. We're good. Oh, right, let's... Where, where is he? Yeah, there's I a chance Mr. X comes through this door, but he's not I don't here. hear him. Yeah, hear him like... Okay. He's, yep, he's not somewhere. there. Awesome. Oh. I do hear, I hear him, those he's, Yeah, he's, not, he's yeah. in the east wing. I think we're okay. Oh, he's out here now. He's but. coming. So we're going to do a manip here where we go ahead and fire a round off right outside the door. And that's actually going to, it's, first and foremost, it's going to draw Mr. Hex. But um, there's zombies in here that will kind of pick up on the audio and they'll be drawn to it rather than being drawn directly to us. It doesn't work every single time, but it's a very, very consistent strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when this game first came out, we used to just YOLO running well. Some people threw a flashbang, others just ran in here and prayed. Yeah. You still sort of pray, but... Um, it's pretty consistent now, especially if you move the first bookshelf on your first trip through the RPD, which he did. Right. Yep. Much safer. He's in here now, but I don't believe he knows where we are. Yeah, he's going, he's going around the staircase, so that will give us a little bit more time later to, uh, to get out of there. Sometimes you go back into the library after doing the clock tower, and he's, like, climbing up the ladder. Yeah. It's pretty funny. All right, so we're in the clock tower now, so we're going to go ahead and use that gear we picked up earlier, and it's going to drop this staircase. And there's actually another gear we have to pick up, but we have to make sure that we keep this one in our inventory uh, so we can do a little switcheroo here in just a moment. There's actually a really big chance to uh, mess up the stair skating in this room. They're extremely tight, and like Leon will just let go in the complete wrong direction. <laughs> but we, didn't, we, we haven't had the bad luck so far. We still have a, a little bit more to do in this room, though. It's because the hallways are pretty narrow here, and sometimes it just doesn't register his collision box quite correctly. All right, there we go. So we've done the switcheroo, so that's going to go ahead and give us our second part. Once we pick that up... I don't oh. have to write a report on this. Yeah, you won't have to. The city's going to be <laughs> obliterated here soon enough. So. Oh, man. Leon's one-liners are actually pretty funny in this. Yeah, they are. Resident Evil always with the cheesy voice acting. Yep. And so the way this manipulation works is Look, X will actually is. be on the yeah, ladder. Yeah, and, and when that happens, it's it's... Pretty much, we're, we're just going to run right back to the garage and not have to worry about him. So Sometimes he will catch up to you, um, but he's still pretty easy to dodge if he does catch up to you. And sometimes he'll smack the zombie right outside the clock tower out of the way, so you don't have to worry about him if you get bad RNG. Mm. Especially if you're running Claire. Now, this part is pretty tricky coming up. The, the double grab hallway is uh, strikes again here. Oh, yeah. They might, they might be in a little bit different position, though, because I got bit, so we'll, we'll just have to kind of That's play true, that That's true, yeah. All right, so there's Elliot. He turned into a zombie, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh! oh. He was right in the middle. He was right in the middle. Ooh, okay. Oh, High frames? Oh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. You're good. That works. All right, we're going to shoot this guy. We're not taking... Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my John gosh. Zombo, man. This is... This is... Okay. All right, we're all right. Okay, okay. We're all right. What about this guy on the left? Scary. All right, he's not, he's not too much of a threat. All right, there is a first aid spray relatively close. As long as the dogs behave, which these dogs, they're generally free. But they're free. Dogs yeah, they're free. free. They're We're free. hoping yeah. they're free. They got to be free. It's a long run back if we die here. Yeah. Normally, you only have two dogs. Oh, man. They're good boys. Okay, we're dogs good. are free. Oh, Lord. There's still another room. We're going to take the uh, a sort of an indirect line here. It's kind of like a we're like arcing a little bit. And as long as we don't get bit here, we're good. Dogs are free. Okay, good. we got yeah, good. good. That was close. If he that got hit there, good. that would have been very bad. But there's a first aid spray right up here anyway. Yep, there's a fast here. We're going to be back to full health. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's a pretty risky game to run in a marathon event. <laughs> Fortunately, we're on standard, so we get to reload from save files if that's the case. But yeah. they're, they're, so once you get to the later game, they are few and far between. 
All right, so this puzzle takes a little bit of focus. Uh, you got time for a donation, though. Sure. We have a $50 donation from Anonymous who says, Tofu Train. Okay, apparently this decided not to work. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, they and got... Real quick, we just hit $150,000. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Keep them yes. coming. Oh, and wow. also, we're getting tofu. It just got in nice. as well. Oh, tofu. yeah. Tofu. Nice. Confirmed. Nice. Tofu. Oh, my. The full house. Nice. Yeah, this is awesome. The finale. So get your donations in, because now's the chance. All right, so we got to shoot this guy and then throw a flash grenade. He's going to grab us, but that's okay. That's also going to stun Mr. X, so we, do, we can just run right out of here. The grab cancel there with the flashbang. That would also used to be a very risky room back in the day. Or, well, this came out a few months ago, but yeah. On one of my PBs in Leon, I, I missed that. And Mr. X, it, it stunned the other zombies, but Mr. X was around the corner. And he came around and he, like, stuffed me into one of the cells and just pummeled me for, like, 20 seconds. Yeah. It and, was brutal. And he can swing around. Like, when you flashbang Mr. X, he's a chance to, just, like, swing his arms and he can hit you <laughs> when you're running by. Yeah. He'll kind of, like, flail around a little bit mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to get a shot off. Um, so Ada's listening to a tape. There's not really a whole lot going on here, so this is another great time for donations. Sure. Our friend from earlier, Mr. Charisma, is a person of their word and gave us a $100 donation that said, thanks, everyone. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. We have a $100 donation from Anti DDOS who says, money's for an amazing cause and just mm. wanted to say hi to my friends, Maxi, Balk, Hazeblade, and Waifu. Let's get the bonus money for the Tofu Run. Awesome. Yeah, thank Anti, you. Thank Anti. you for the donation. Anti actually plays World of Warcraft with us. Uh, we have, we have a, well, Bach has a guild. He's, and we're, uh, we're playing Horde <laughs> on Stalag. So. <laughs> Let me hear it. Don't sign those papers. Yeah. <laughs> we have time for any more? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. We have a $30 donation from Freskly who says, Glad I got off work in time to donate. Thanks to GDQ for everything you do. Awesome. And so now we are, we're heading into the sewers. And uh, we're going to get a monologue from, from Ada here, but... Oh, what cheesiest line in the game? <laughs> yeah. That explains the horrible things I've seen. It says it so casually. Like, yeah. Uh, the delivery on that is... Uh. So there's going to be another line coming up here where he gets mad at Ada. And it's funny because he's... It's going to make sense, and I'll explain a little bit more later, but um, we're coming up to a, a pretty interesting section here. Uh, when they were first talking about doing RE2 Remake, a lot of the fans were like, are we going to get the alligator? Are we going to get the alligator? And they, uh, they decided eventually that, that it was going to be in the game. So, so we're going to be coming up to that section very soon. Um, and Leon's not going to be too happy about it. Do I, do I have a moment to read a very special donation? Oh, yeah, Absolutely. Go for it. The Yeti has sent us a $5,000 donation. Woo! Awesome. The Yeti. Yeah. Says, hey, all. Yeti here. With your support from ordering tees, pins, and items from the GDQ archives, we've raised another $5,000 for a grand total of $10,000 from your orders directly to Able Gamers. A special thanks to all the volunteers, staff, runners, and you watching right now. Look how much good we can do in a single weekend. You're all amazing. A small PSA, if you want GDQX items, they'll be available until midnight central time. Tonight, then gone forever. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Leon. <laughs> that timing. He's excited for the GDQ X sales. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so the, the alligator fight is, is not particularly impressive. You're kind of just running away, and then conveniently there's a natural gas line that just runs right, right there, and you just shoot him, and it's over. Bad memories of that croc as we <laughs> crawl in theaters July 12th. <laughs> Bonk, did you ever, bonk. <laughs> Sorry. Bonk. No, I, hey. I couldn't help myself. Bonk, did you ever get those tickets? <laughs> yeah, no, I never <laughs> no, got No, we tickets. never got those tickets. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this was the part where, where Leon gets a little bit upset because of what Ada said earlier. She, Leon, she makes here. a comment that, well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll just let Leon just handle it. Get up here. They actually spend a very significant portion of the time not really getting along at the beginning of the run. Right here. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. <laughs> that particular line is, amuses me because, like, he's... She said people, but he's already seen the, the zombie dogs. So, like, I don't really understand. Like, he should already know that it's not just people. 
Yeah, he's not playing with a full deck of cards in this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. It's his first day on the job. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Very, a very young and naive Leon. Uh, and we have some more time for donations. Sure, let me get them pulled up here. We have a $10 donation from Rad Shaz, who says, Good luck on your run, Hayes Blade. Awesome. Rad Shaz, Rad Shaz another, another RE runner from Australia, actually. Yes. He runs a lot of the classic Resident Evil games. Thank you. We have a, let's see here, we have a $50 donation from The One Fool, who says, To the whole crew and speedrunners, thank you for all your hard work. You guys are amazing. All right, so now we are approaching the Ada section of the game, which is a very unique twist. And kind of like how Sherry's run is a little bit more unique to the game, Ada's is as well, because she is going to be uh, pulling out what's called the hacking tool, and we're going to be able to activate these switches here. And I, I'm not sure how this works, but apparently you aim a device at a fan and it explodes. I'm not sure how that works, but... <laughs> and we're pretty much going to be doing this for the next, like, six minutes. And so uh, we can actually kind of look through this wall and get this. There's a couple different strats for this room specifically. Um, and there, like, there's a lot of different ways of doing this, but this way is kind of just the most, the most uh, common way, I would say. You, you would either activate that fan before turning the corner, or you would do it um, while you're, right before you get that last switch to uh, turn the power over from the fan to the door. And so now we have to go power on the elevator using the hacking tool. So we're going to be doing some lines here to run through this section. And there's a panel that you can't really see. It's kind of behind, behind some stuff right here. We're going to click that just in time and get out of there before the zombie bites us. Mm -hmm, nice. But we are not out of the woods yet. There's a zombie that's going to be right around this corner. Nice. We got him. Yeah, he's a bit tricky sometimes. Yeah, depending on your approach to the line, um, sometimes, and then also depending on your difficulty, he can kind of be in a few different spots. Usually he's turning the corner as you're coming back, but sometimes he's a little bit further back, and sometimes he's already turned the corner. There's a, a bit of a range to it. All right, so now we have one more switch coming up here uh, before this door. We're going to activate the switch. Mr. X is actually chasing us right now, but we're not even going to see him because we're so fast. And then we're going to activate this fan, and we're out of there. So pretty much from the, the story standpoint, Ada is trying to track down Annette in order to secure a sample of the G-Virus. And so she's pretty much in pursuit of her after bandaging up Leon, who took a, a bullet to the chest uh, while interrogating Annette. And so uh, we, are, we are in pursuit. But as it turns out, sometimes the hunter can be the hunted. Favorite line in the game right here. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. You'll <laughs> never get your filthy hands on the G. <laughs> and here is some, uh, he's adjusting the difficulty here by shooting his pistol. And more switches. And, and so that, we, that difficulty adjustment's really small, but it will actually help just a bit. Yeah. Did we even explain difficulty adjustment at all, or DA? Uh, I don't really. think we went too in-depth about it. So in this game, uh, picking up uh, like defense weapons, uh, ammo, weapons in general, it'll increase your uh, difficulty rating by just a little bit, which makes the zombies uh, a little bit more aggressive. Sometimes they do double lunges. They'll do more damage each bite. Um, so it does really change the game if you end up playing very, very well up until yeah. the end. Uh, once you get to the, like, the sewers or like the lab, you know, you'll be doing barely any damage to zombies, but they'll wreck you. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and we, we have gotten bit a few times, so our DA is a little bit lower than it would normally be going into this section, which <laughs> hopefully that means we'll get a bit of a break on G2, but yeah. Yeah. Um, that remains to be seen. I'd say this is probably a good time for donations. Mm -hmm. We have a $250 donation Ooh, Ooh, nice. from Lozert user who says, now at $750 total donated. Good luck. Time for bed. Nice. Holy <laughs> nice. Thank, well. thank you. They also sent another $250 donation earlier that said, thanks for the entertainment. So thank you for the total. We have a $100 donation from Panza who says, just tuned in and can't wait to see Leon rocking the noir. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah he's, thank God. he's very dapper in this run. Yeah. We have time for any more? Yeah. Uh, yeah, one more. We have a $25 anonymous donation that says, 
Bakba, all Mr. X runs win. Um, yeah. Oh, Lord. That, <laughs> yeah. Was, that was a lot of fun. Not only did Bach uh, change all of them to Mr. X, but he also put the Nemesis skin on them. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool mods for this game. If you guys own this at home or anything nowadays, oh my God, you could change everything. You could turn Mr. X into Pikachu if you really want. <laughs> yeah, yep. that's true. Yeah. That is true. Uh, so now we're in the sewers. Uh, Leon, watch your language, please. Um, no. I, was, I was a little ahead of that one. But, um, so yeah, this is going to get pretty disgusting. But um, we're now going to be seeing the G adults in the game. And the G adults are absolutely in the sewers. They are a huge, huge run ender. This guy is oh, free. Yeah. But there's going to be a hallway on our way to get some plugs to open the door to G2 to save Ada. And if you get bad RNG, it's pretty much over. Cable yeah. Interesting. But at this point, we are kind of heading our way up to um, discover that Ada has been injured while um, trying to escape from some of the uh, traps that Annette had laid for her. So we're in the process of finding that out. That's what happens when we skip this cutscene. And we discover that we need some plugs in order to save her um, to get into the room where she is being held. Um, I'm running a little low on ammo. I could, there's some ammo in there I could grab, but there's more ammo later. So I'll go ahead and just wait until yeah, that yeah. That, the elevator room. Yep. Yeah. And then um, we're, we're also going to need some tools in order to uh, be able to progress through this level. And that tool is laying on the table over here called the T-bar handle is what this is called. So we're going we're gonna to pick that up. And this is how we're going to open some of the doors that are over here, which you actually, when you're first coming into this area uh, in a casual playthrough, you start seeing some of these doors, but you don't really know what they are. Uh, and then it kind of it starts to make sense later. We are going to hope that this zombie doesn't bite. Oh. Uh, normally, he, that, that's actually pretty rare. Normally, he doesn't yeah. bite there, but um, it's GDQ, so, you know. Yeah, and a back bite isn't too bad. The animation isn't uh, too long. Yeah, it's just a couple seconds. We're going to grab this grenade here. Uh, can't have too many grenades, especially when we're preparing for some of the fights in the late game. Uh, having grenades there uh, allows us to do some pretty significant damage uh, within a short frame of time. Uh, so this G-Adult, again, not too much of a problem. We're going to go ahead and use this T-Bar handle and open this door. And on the other side of this door is an elevator, which is going to lead us to our first plug. Now, we actually passed this first plug, but we needed to cross the bridge. And when you pull the plug, the bridge rises up and you can't cross it. So now that we don't need to go back to that area again, we can actually go ahead and uh, claim the plug. And we'll go ahead and grab this, uh, this pouch as well to make sure we've got a little extra inventory space. And you need, you need to go pretty fast here, or that zombie in that room will get you on your way back. So. Yep, you can, actually do a, you can actually do a quick turn there as well to kind of stop yourself a little bit short. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to spend another round there because I don't want too much ammo going into this next section, primarily because if I, I, it's not as big of a deal here because I have... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Back up. All right, now if I shoot him here, he's gonna he's going to disappear, and I should be able to get by. Oh, Leon with the language, my my word. There we go. So he came back up, but we we were we were okay, too good. That was close. Uh, yeah, this that part's was a little tricky close. too. So the attack that you don't want to see from the G adult is the grab attack because yeah. <laughs> for some weird reason the hitbox collision like it's, the, it's huge. Terrible. Yeah, I don't even like, know. I don't even know if they tested it. No, but, it's um, gigantic. You, I've been behind a G adult before, and they'll grab me somehow yeah. in the front. It's crazy. Oh yeah. So you want to see any other attack except for that? Yeah, and you won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Sometimes they'll start. They, they have like offspring that they can. They, they basically like vomit it out. It's pretty gross. Oh no. Um, and this is where things get a little tricky. Yeah, crappiest part in the game, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a safe strat here. I'm going to actually grab this. Oh, I, oh, I actually already have an herb. I forgot I grabbed that one earlier. Um, but we're going to make a combo herb here, because if we get grabbed, we get, we'll get poisoned. And if we get poisoned, we move incredibly slow. Um, basically, Leon will start coughing his lungs out every, like, five seconds. Yeah. I missed Very that nice. first good, shot, good. but he Thank still God. dived. That's, that's awesome. And then uh, coming into this next section, so movement is very critical, especially if you're going for world record in any category. M running through this section, there's actually, if you do this not so optimally, it's like five or ten seconds slower. Yeah. Like, it's very tight movement. Movement-wise, this is one of the hardest parts in the game. Yeah, so you want to basically quick turn immediately after you loot. And it's very easy to mess it up and then put the wrong plug in the slot and that's like automatically four seconds if you if you make a mistake on it. 
Yep. But luckily, since we're not running Claire, we don't need to grab the weapon that's in here. So we, that zombie is, we, goodbye. <laughs> Enough said. Yep. Um, but my king and queen are very close together here. So I'm going to take my time a little bit to make sure I don't put the, the wrong plug in. All right, at this point now we're looting plugs, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and you see him pressing the aim button right before he gets to some triggers, like picking up an item or something. That just gives him a small speed boost just to pick it up a little quicker, I guess. Yeah, because, like, when you're running and you go up against a wall, you'll slow down before mm -hmm. you even get to the wall. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is, this is where things get a little <laughs> tricky. And, uh... Oh, Come this on. is not what we want. Excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, here we go. We might be able to get by that. Oh, 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 oh God. I'm gonna oh. go for it here and see. Oh. Oof. What are my options? Do I? Can I use a grenade? Uh, I'll pick There's up a, a knife later. Yeah. I just really, I yeah. forgot to grab the blue herb in there. Yeah. I'll see if I can. Now we hope they're gonna grab you again. All right, I should be able to. I mean, if something else goes bad, right, he's on the other side of us. We're reload okay. the save. That is true. Because it's like right, it's literally right there. That is true, yep. I'll grab another knife later, uh, so we should be, we should be all right. Yeah, yeah. Just got to remind them. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so this one is, uh, it can be tricky. As long as you know what you're doing, though, it's not too bad. You kind of want to wait here for a second. He'll lunge past. Oof. When he gets back up, uh, Damn, I've he'll, be, seen that he'll be pretty far away. And, uh, again, there's a couple ways you can do this. And you can actually get on that platform early, but it's a little bit safer if you kind of bait him out a little bit. Yeah, everyone does things a little differently in this. It's funny, I've seen you do so many things like, this is so common strat. I'm like, holy crap, I've never even seen that in my life. <laughs> yeah, the, the strats have changed quite a bit in the last few months. I should be able to get by this zombie. It's going to be really tight. Nice. Yeah, that, that, nice. That room can be very toxic, like the zombies on the stairs and whatnot. And here comes the hardest part in the freak, or this is the marathon <laughs> run. This is, this is the, I would say when the, when the latest, when you get this far in the game, this is the number one reset point is G2. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and make an item drop here just to make sure we got some inventory space here. We're going to drop off the items that we uh, didn't need, which I guess was just the key. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put the queen in, followed by looting this and grabbing the king. We've got another plug over here we can pick up. We're basically, it's kind of like a puzzle rearrangement. Uh, so they actually give you some of the plugs already, and you have to go find the other ones and then just rearrange them once you have them all. The pawn doesn't move, though. All right, so we've opened the door, but we have to turn the power on because there's no power to this door. And I'm going to also, I'm going to grab, there's a red herb here that I'm going to go ahead and combine to uh, give myself a full heal just in case things don't work out. Yeah. Here right. we go. Oh, here we boy. go, G2. All right, so we're going to start by getting ready with a grenade and throwing that and running towards these little barrels right here. Now he's gonna start tearing down the door. We need to make sure we switch to the knife now, just to make sure um, if you are running on a, a potato PC, you wanna turn your graphics down a little bit here. <laughs> yeah. um, in like this piece. case, these PCs are actually very good that GDQ is using, but... Um, yeah, wanted, better safe than sorry, honestly. Yeah, right. And yeah. I wanted the game to look good throughout because normally you actually run the game on pretty low graphics. Yeah. Um, even if you have a good PC. So I'm just going to turn them down a little bit just to make sure we have the optimal frame rate that we need for this fight. Mm -hmm. You can also, if you're, um, you, you can kind of tap the space bar and then the two key to equip the knife. You can also look at Leon's back. You'll see the knife there. All right, focus up right here. I'm going to be quiet for a second. So we heard the slash, which means that we're going to take the items first and we're going to start slashing. Now this boss is really important that if you want to get the fastest cycle, you need to get him below 50% HP, which is what he's going to try to do before he hits him with the crane. If he hits him with the crane when his HP is b above 50%, he'll come back and you have to hit him with the crane again. The yep. only way to kill this boss is to hit him with the crane. Yep, nice. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of a safe strap here, which is it's a little bit slower, but it's going to make sure that he's here. He's going to do this grab. Good job. And we're good. I'm going to go ahead and grab some ammo since we've got a second too. There we go. There's G2. Very well done. All right. Now we are reaching the, uh, coming up on the final section of the game, uh, which is going to be the lab. It's crazy how much that boss fight has changed since the game oh, came out. Yeah. There were so many different strats because he just would kill everyone's runs. Especially on hardcore. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. like, uh, like 20, 30, 40 hours of practice combined with runners just... 
like grinding that that one boss fight testing over and over. Oh yeah, it's it's a very very challenging fight, and that strat has changed so much yeah. in the last six months. I mean, it used to be where uh, I think before the knife was discovered, you grabbed the flamethrower and you just burnt him to a crisp. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> which on on 60 FPS, uh, I'm not sure. If I think you really still do it. Uh, I don't know. And on hardcore, do you? Maybe not. On hardcore, yeah, I believe you do. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I can't remember. And I know you. Used, people used to think the spark shot was useless as Claire, and then it ended up being like the best item in the game. Yep, thanks to <laughs> this man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So Ada is not looking so good. Uh, as you can see, she's got a, a bit of a leg injury there. I'm actually going to burn some ammo here because I have, I have a bit too much. And we're going to skip this cutscene. Uh, there, there's some, some PDA in this, in this cutscene. You don't want to see that. Uh -huh. yeah, we got we to keep it modest. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Ada basically, from a lore standpoint, Ada has said that she's not really feeling, she's not feeling well. And so she has handed the wristband that she acquired earlier to Leon and basically given him the authority to finish her mission. So <laughs> um, even though like at, at this point he believes that she's part of the FBI, which we all knew, we all knew before that we even played RE2 remake that she wasn't. So, <laughs> so we need to go level up our risk band though. So we are gonna go to this little side hallway here. And we are going to do another zombie manip where we shoot this door and waltz our way around the kitchen, or rather the dining room, up this ladder into a ventilation shaft, and we will go and grab a knife and upgrade our wristband. Now normally, if you were, so if you were playing Claire, you would actually need to pick a spark shot upgrade up here. We actually can skip that as Leon since we don't have the flamethrower. Oh, I actually have more knives than I thought. I think you didn't bank the club key and you have two herbs, so I think it's just the, the two herbs and the club key ah, is, yeah. is what's throwing it off. Okay, so he's there. Now, you, I should be able to run around the right side, but I'm not yeah, taking better, a better story, okay. story with that guy. Oh. Yep. Yeah, he can, he can be pretty devastating if you're this late in the game, because at this point in the game, your DA is very high. It's yep. very close to being at what hardcore would, would be. And so uh, we're also going to grab the... Oh, my inventory's full. We'll go ahead and we'll just use an herb, because I took a bite earlier. And uh, I'll need to combine that here in just a moment. So if you skip the shotgun or the grenade launcher in the RPD, it actually spawns here. Yeah. Which, yep. Yep. That would have been nice to know in the first month of the game. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. So like people would just like do hang and only runs or something, and then yeah. they're like, oh, look, mm -hmm. shotgun. It's crazy how much strats change in a new game. Like, oh my god, the first month and two and three, everyone's like, oh god, like unbeatable run, and now all those runs are just like <laughs> so dated. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very crazy how, how much the strats have changed. But, I mean, even, even still, I mean, you know, you, you've got some really top runners. You've got Orchlon and Trey D, which is, he has a 7 at the beginning, so a lot of people call him 7 Ray or Ray. Um, but Trey D, he's, uh, those, both of those runners have done an immense amount of work oh, yeah. optimizing the, the, this like, game. Shout-outs to them. They're, they're great, great runners. And thousands of hours and just the, all the world records. Oh, yeah. So we're encountering an enemy called Ivies for the first time. Now, these guys, if they hit, it is a one-hit kill, unfortunately. We've got this uh, puzzle coming up one moment. Hoping for a, a good set of puzzles. There's actually a few puzzles back-to-back because -back. Um, we've also got the, uh, the dispersal cartridge puzzle. But we've just unlocked the doors that are normally would be locked out here. I think my inventory's still gonna be full. Yeah, and we need to get that knife too in the lab. Correct, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel out of this menu, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just discard the handgun ammo. I think we're okay with where we're at now. Yeah. And you can combine the nades, the, the stack split. Ah, uh, yes, true, that's a good idea. So yeah, because, because we're grabbing some extra health just to be safe, you know, with, from the marathon strats, uh, we've, we've got a little bit of a constrained inventory. And uh, so it, that's really the challenge that we're dealing with. But we've got this uh, vial puzzle, which is actually kind of time consuming when you're first figuring it out, but it's actually a very, very fast solution. It's only, I think, uh, seven or eight moves. Uh, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. Just do that. Yeah. <laughs> with yeah. the B scenario, it's different, but. Yep. Yeah, it's blue, red, green, mm -hmm. I think. I'm going to try to move this into slot one, which we got it. Good. Uh, that'll make it a little bit faster to menu it up later. We've also got an IV out here. We're going to try to shoot him with the handgun and conserve our shotgun ammunition. 
we are going to need that shotgun ammunition for G3. So uh, anything that we can do with the with the nine millimeter here, we want to go ahead and do that. Actually, the Matilda. There's a there's a uh, name for Leon likes to name his weapons. And here comes the liquor lab. Kobe. Nice. And we're gonna look up here. We don't want to be too close to the wall because we can still get licked. Perfect. We're gonna get our flash grenade ready. Before nope. the flash nades tried here, this staircase used to suck. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Because for some reason, these zombies sometimes don't stagger when you shoot them in the head. It's because the DA just gets slightly higher here, so... Uh, you can combine the grenades, too. Yeah, that's, that's true. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the flash grenade. We'll, we'll actually free up an inventory space when we use the next flash grenade, too, so... Uh, that's gonna stun these guys. Can I get around? Thank you. Goodbye. And upcoming is like the scariest part of the whole run. Any yep. run that's even remotely good that gets to this point, this is where you're starting to sweat because Lab Liquors kills every single run. Yeah, this has killed like 50,000 world records. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and pull these Liquors, and we're going to hope they don't hit us. Now, they should go up on the wall. Perfect. We're going to throw this flash grenade, and they're going to fall off. That was good. Whoa. That was uh, well, <laughs> That's close. reach at the end. Yeah. Yeah, some reason to chat. <laughs> Um, so uh, he actually uh, made it down to the ground um, a little early, so... But, nice. but I think oh, we're still going to okay. get it. Yeah, we're good. Perfect. Nice. We're not done yet, though. <laughs> yeah, and since he's going... Since he has to get the knife in that save room, it is a little riskier. Yeah. As yep. well, it's just another element to the terrible room. The nice thing is, when you go in that room, they instantly turn around and reset. Yeah, so their AI tends to do that yeah. when you enter that room. It's funny that in our OG RE2, that's also a very risky part of the run, except it can be manipulated for the most part. Mm -hmm. But it's the same thing. There's, there's actually three liquors in OG RE2 in that hallway. Yep. All right, so I'm going to equip this knife. I don't need this knife because we're going to go ahead and grab an extra one. Uh, but we do need to be very careful with this line. Perfect. Nice. And we're going to look away, or, or rather, kind of towards them. Oh. oh. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to use that knife. Because like I said, we don't really need that knife anymore as long as they're not blocking the door. Excuse me, boys. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so they're going to instantly reset. As soon as that door closes. Uh, okay, apparently that one decided that he didn't want to play. He didn't want to play nice. We're good. We're out of there. Nice. Uh, I actually, there's not a lot of stair skating yeah, left, so I'm going to save that in case I get hit later. There's yeah, also yeah. a green herb still in the lobby. True. I'm also yeah. probably going to grab the blue herb so I get a defensive boost. Uh, nope, don't have time for you, sir. Goodbye. Yeah, those plant guys are very scary, the ivies, because if you you need your self-defense weapons in this game. So if one grabs you in an actual, like in a marathon, you might have extra items, but if they grab you in an actual run, it's, it's just over. Oh, yeah, it's like, over. It's, it's a reset. Oh, yeah. Um, and sometimes they get a little bit of a boost on you, so you got to be really careful here. Um, so I'm actually, because of where they're positioned, I'm not going to grab that blue herb. Uh, where's my band? There it is. So normally you would be using a tool called the SRT to kind of keep track of your inventory. We should be able to get by him. There we go. Uh, and that actually allows you to kind of look, if you have a second monitor, you can kind of look at your second monitor and uh, kind of see what your inventory layout is. We don't have that, so my inventory is a little slower than it would normally be. Goodbye. Nice. That was really close. Yeah. Um, he was recovering from that a lot faster than I thought he would be. Um, I think this is a decent time for donations. Been yeah. a long walk to the boss. Sure. We have a $100 donation from BRHH who says, Congrats on the 150 k for an excellent charity. Stay comfy, speed friends. Mm hmm. <laughs> Laura61 sends us a $250 donation. Woo. Wow. Nice. Oh, whoa. Damn. Oh, whoa. Heck yeah. And says, here's a bump towards the goal. Able Gamers Hype. We have a $20 donation from Newborn Lunatic who says, Resident Evil was my favorite series whenever I was growing up. I love seeing these speed runs. Thank you for this runner. Go Tofu. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I forgot Tofu's <laughs> coming. Doing tofu. Tofu's yeah, on the way. Yeah, oh, boy. We have a $25 donation from T. Busy, who says, three of my favorite things, helping others, zombies, and tofu. Loving oh, yeah. this run. So tofu, interestingly enough, we'll, we'll talk about tofu quite a bit later, but um, it was actually, 
a, it, it's kind of funny because it's a hunk of tofu. And yeah. you play as hunk in the original, so it's kind of a, a, a funny joke. But we'll talk yeah. a little bit more about that when we get into the run. Because uh, there's, there's a lot of memes in that run. G3 <laughs> oh, yeah. time. Oh, yeah. We're coming up on G3 here. This is, um, it's not as challenging as G2, but there's definitely some challenges to it. Uh, a lot of it has to do with timing. There are kind of, it's one strat, but it can go a few different ways depending on how well your grenades do. Yeah, this can be rough depending on your grenade explosions. Yep. So we're going to start by throwing the grenades. And if he staggers, it's going to change the strat. Yep, so he actually staggered forward. That's not good. I'm going to throw this and hope I don't get hit. Oh, yikes. All right, we're still okay for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to use that yet. Ooh. Oh, he is mopping the floor with me. That's why I wanted to save that. There we go. All right, now these knife hits have to be on point if he wants the quick kill. And he has so we're watching knife. our durability oh. here very carefully because we don't want a knife break animation. Oh, he got up early. That's not good, but that's okay. We, we should get him low enough that he, uh, he may still throw the panel down, which is a little bit slower, but he shouldn't be attacking us anymore after this. Yeah, so we're going to lose some time here. Normally, you can actually kill him before this happens. I'm going to get out of the way. Otherwise, that's going to hurt. During the and we should be able to finish him right here. During the animation, he actually can't die. There he is. Yeah, he's yeah. invincible. When he, when he picks up that thing, you cannot kill him. So in a, in a real run, if he grabs that, just press escape, press quit game, because <laughs> it's over. Uh, Annette is not looking too good. She actually got injured uh, prior to the fight starting. So um, she, she at least, I, per the cutscene, she kind of like tries to, I, I'm not sure if it, I don't remember if it's Leon or Claire's scenario where she actually shoots acid rounds at him. I don't remember which one that is, but um, she actually does injure him per the story. Um, this would normally be the very um, sad cutscene where Ada falls to her death, but we, we, we know she's all right. She's going to be fine. Boilers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you guys saw me switch to the handgun there. I did not want to take any chances with the ivies down here, so I wanted a shotgun shell um, for the last ivy. Uh, I can actually burn a couple rounds. It doesn't really matter because my DA is basically max at this point after using the knife on G3. But there's going to be a strat here. There's a manip on the ivies that works pretty consistently once we get down here. Uh, where we'll actually shoot around into a pillar and it's going to, like, the ivy is just going to turn around. And then the second ivy I'll have that shotgun shell for. But while we're on our way there, we do have time for a donation. We have a $25 donation from Renpy Tom, who says, It's great to bring games to everyone. Thanks, Able Gamers, and thanks to the runners and the GDQX team. Awesome. All right, so this cutscene that we skipped uh, has to do with Claire. I'm going to grab an extra knife, just... Just because. Uh, but I should have enough durability to, to take care of Mr. X. Um, I think you only need about 450 or so for the fight. So we're going to activate this elevator. And if we take a shot there, that Ivy totally turns around. And as long as he doesn't turn around while we're coming up this way. Oh. There we go. Very nice. And we're going to shoot this guy. We're not taking He tried. Him. Yeah. He, he did. It was a valiant effort. If they do that animation, it's like you got to be the perfect amount of way or they'll get you every time. <laughs> All right. There is, a, there is some foul language coming up here, so we're going to cover it up for you guys at home uh, just to make sure that this is a nice family-friendly GDQ run. Oh, it's Mr. X. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. 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 Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Shame, Leon. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up on the final boss of the game, Super Tyrant. The Mr. X dance incoming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just dancing. So we're going to grab our our uh, spark joint, joint plug. It's called the joint plug. And we're going to insert it here. All right, let's dance. Now, you want to time this, especially if you're not at max durability on your knife. You want to time it so you don't unnecessarily wear down your knife. All right, so we only have to stagger him three times. Now, the way this fight works is he is on a timer, but every time you stagger him up to three times total, it will actually increase the rate at which that timer uh, accrues. So basically, the strat here, once we've got him down, is we want to stick on his, his weak arm 
and just kind of walk through him as he attacks. And he's going to consistently alternate between one long swipe attack, swipe attack, and uh, two fast swiping attacks. And this fight, that's, that's all there is in this fight. We're just going to do this for like the next 40 seconds or so. Um, but then we will we will have to kill him with the rocket launcher. So interestingly enough, if you're running this on knife only, it's called low percent because you have to grab the rocket launcher because you can't kill him with the knife. Uh, you also have to use a handgun round in order to uh, destroy the gas line for the crocodile. So there are a couple situations if you were running this on knife only where you would actually have to use a weapon. Which Maxi Lobes is a knife only runner. Yeah. Who recently uninstalled the game. Recently <laughs> uninstalled the game. It's great. <laughs> All right, so the rocket launcher is here. We got to bait that attack. We're going to grab the rocket launcher, and boom, there he is. Nice. Hey. Nice clean fight. Very good. Fight. Nice Very dance. Good Watch this dude fly. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I love that zombie. Good moves, man. Yeah. And we're coming up. Here it is, and time. Very nice job, yeah, Mr. Job, sir. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see some darn tofu. It's but, not over yet. Yeah, what what right. the, what's this time? 5629. Not bad. Uh, little, little bit overestimate there, but that was it was still a really visually, uh, visually aesthetic run, I would say. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right. So we're going to switch to the uh, remake soundtrack for Tofu because this soundtrack. Oh yeah. Is Please. Incredible. I almost forgot to mention that. Yeah. And. Uh, if we could get the audio here cranked up a little bit, because this is gonna yeah. be amazing. Oh God! And uh, oh, there's boy, a lot of CQC luck. in this. A lot of people, a lot of people know. Some people don't. I do a very good snake impression, so I need to channel my inner snake for this. All right, let's go. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh God! Oh boy! Sour please. Relax, Mr. Hazeblade. All right, so this zombie here is very inconsistent. So I'm gonna do a safety strat there to just go ahead and use a knife because if she doesn't lunge there, this zombie is a guaranteed grab. And we want to take as little, we have tons of knives in this run, tons of knives. And uh, we want to use knives before having to use health. We only get one full heal in this run. Otherwise, if we use it and we take damage, it is over. And you can stair skate with the knife as well. Yep. It's not as quick, but... Yeah, yep. It's a little trickier, too. Yeah. So there's actually two methods to stair skating with Tofu, um, which one of them is the knife. So if you if you tap the space bar, just like you do when you tap the aim down sight uh, with, with Leon or Claire, it's the same idea there with, with doing it. But when you have the flashlight out, it is incredibly slow. So you can actually just spam the W key. We're gonna try to see if we get a stagger. You don't always get it, so that's okay. We are we're gonna be using a lot of knives in this run. We're gonna try not to get hit here. This zombie shouldn't he shouldn't catch us. Whoa. There we go. Very nice. We're gonna kind of bait this zombie dog there. Dogs and we're out. That was actually yeah, a really good room. Yeah, it, that room can throw over the whole the whole run. Now I do want to say something here about the stair skates in this room. When I did that long staircase there, if you don't start stair skating immediately when you open that door, you'll actually pull the flashlight out and your stair skates are basically halved because of how slow the knife is there. So you, it's, it's optimal to start stair skating like as quickly as possible once you quick turn to that room. But we're just gonna spam W for this one and we'll just kind of lunge our way up the stairs. It's a little bit faster than doing uh, this, the knife. The wiggle. Oh yeah, that's the wiggle. Jiggle and tofu. All right, this is a pretty specific line here. Uh, he's, that, that guy took a step forward, so this might, I might still get grabbed. Nope, we're good. That was smooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. That's another room that can go terribly wrong. Every room can go terribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. true. Tofu is very, very high risk because of just, like I said, I mean, you only have knives, and you only get the one full heal. So hopefully we don't have to use it. If we, if we don't have to use it, then we should be OK. By the way, I see the Twitch chat reacting. In case you haven't seen it, our estimate for this run is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're now getting up into the, uh, the like the basement section of the RPD, uh, and we've got some more specific lines here to take care of. Some more stair skates. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a safe strat here. You can actually kind of try to c cross through these guys, but it's a little bit safer to just go around the outside of the room. So we're going to go ahead and do that, just to try to save a little bit of time, if, just in case we got grabbed. 
We're now coming up to a, another Manip in the game, this Licker here. We're going to kind of look up, hoping that he licks. Which he did. There he did. Very nice. Very nice. Now so, he's going to try and jump slash. Yep. And he's going to turn the corner, and he's going to try and lick it. Or never mind. He's not. Oh, oh he did lick. He could yep. hear it. Perfect. Nice. That was perfect. All right. Now, generally, if you can get to this section without taking damage, you have a very good setup for a run. So far, this is going amazing. This, yeah. I shouldn't say that. I'm going to jinx it. But um, so far, this is a very good setup for the second half. Some high-octane guitar from that OST. <laughs> oh, yeah. The blast beats. Oh, yeah. So this section here is pretty consistent. Sometimes this dog will get you. Dogs are free. Nice. But generally they're free. Yeah. Uh, we're going to try to do another stagger here again. It's, it's very, very rare. That's why it's so hard to PB in this run, because if you don't get these staggers, it's pretty much impossible to PB because of how much time it takes to use the knife. Yeah. But we should still be able to run through this. We might get grabbed again. We did. That's OK. We have plenty of knives. We get like 16 knives or something like that. It's crazy. All right, I hope I get this. This is so inconsistent. If we stop moving here, we start walking. Perfect. Oh, uh, perfect. oh that was sick. Nice. Now that I got that, Mr. X is going to just destroy me right here. <laughs> that is a very, very rare one to get. It's not easy to get that, that, uh, that dodge. So we're going to try to run towards these uh, trash receptacles here. Oh, he does. Oh, he does the punch. Nice. 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 This is going really well. Holy moly. All right. Yeah. So that was a little an interesting grab. Um, so the uh, thing about Tofu, kind of a little backstory. When Resident Evil 2 Classic was being made, they were trying to figure out a way to test the collision box. And they just had like a white block. I'm gonna hug this wall, by the way. That should manip this zombie. Ah, uh, not quite. Went a little early. A little early, yeah. yeah super late. Um, but yeah, so they used like a a uh, just like a white block, and there was a joke apparently that it looked like a block of tofu. So eventually, when they were doing four survivors, they were like, "How funny would it be if we just did tofu?" That was not quite the line that I was hoping for, but we should be okay. All right, we got licked. That's okay. Appropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and use this combo herb here, which is going to give me a defensive bonus. We are far enough in the run that that shouldn't run out before nice the dodger. end of the Mr. run. Mr. X. I'm, I didn't count how many knives I've used so far, so I'm going to check. I'm going to check real quick. Oh, I've got eight. We got eight knives. We're good, man. We're good. All right, this is very specific. It's not a big deal if we don't get it, but we can actually knife these guys and save a little time. Perfect. Oh, wow. Crazy Gaming Days is a huge knife-only runner. He spends a ton of time on knife-only, and when he does knife-only speedruns, trying to time Ivy knives in the labs is insanely difficult, and he's lost a lot of runs. I'm sure a lot of knife-only runners have lost runs, but I've, I've watched many of his streams, and <laughs> he loses a lot of runs to Ivy's. All right, so this next section, everything in Tofu is specific, and I know I've been saying that like all game, but... <laughs> this trap's sick. This one is, is really yeah. cool. I hope we get it. We've had amazing RNG so far. I'm going to kind of use the knife to... Nope, we didn't Ooh. get it. That's okay. Oh, of course. That's okay. But you can run through all those zombies. Yeah, yep. it's done. I'm going to do a little bit of a different line here from the outside. Okay, we got licked. That's fine. Oh, this is really tricky, too. Nice, 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 nice. All right, this is where it's going to get rough. Nice. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. Look at that. that. Have, what? Dude. Isn't that ridiculous? That's I was every on knife the only run I do in a nutshell. He's probably going to grab me again. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait. Ah, here we go. <laughs> At this point, yeah, it's a battle the of attrition. It's all about who's going to make it first. There, oh, there we go. go. Uh, the curse. Man, those hitboxes. And the GDQ it hates, the computers hate Hunk and Tofu. <laughs> Getting close to the end here. Might We're almost there. God damn it. I love the helicopter pie. He's my one of my favorite characters in this entire game. He's so funny. Here Relax, we go. Relax, Mr. Reaper. All right, let's go. do this thing. Oh. 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 Very nice. We're going to use a knife there. We should get by the zombie on the ground. <laughs> All right, we got to see if we can get another stagger here. 
Nope, we didn't get that. That's okay. We still have the defensive boost. I'm gonna go ahead and use the full heal though, since I still have the defensive boost. Yeah. And the and tofu Mr. Rex is right behind him. He's too. right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all right, home stretch. We got it. Nice. Let's bring it home for GDQ. GG. Yeah. And time. Wow. Delicious. Delicious. And that is Resident Evil 2 and Tofu. All righty. What was the uh, final donation total, what we have so far? <laughs> right now? <laughs> Woo. Tofu, yeah. <laughs> One hundred and fifty-two thousand one hundred and twelve dollars. Nice, for nice. Able gamers. Um, so real quick, you guys, GDQ. I want to thank you guys for having me. Um, this is an incredible experience. First time runner at GDQ. Uh, shout outs to my couch, Bakwa Soup, Maxi Lobes, Waifu. Guys, I'm on Twitch every single day. twitchtv slash Um If I'm not streaming, I'm in somebody else's stream. So I really look forward to seeing you guys on Twitch. If you guys love Resident Evil, speed running. Um, that's what we all love here. By the way, cosplay. Shout out to the cosplays in the audience. Awesome, you guys. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, thank oh, you guys yeah. so much for having me. It's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you guys on Twitch. Thanks again. Fantastic, delicious. Any words you want to come up with? That was Hayes Blade with Resident Evil 2. And, tell, and stay tuned. Uh, we're about to have our finale speech here in just a few moments, so make sure you stay tuned in for that. And we will let you know as soon as we're ready. Again, our final tally, $152,000, $122 for Able Gamers once again. I want to tell you again why we've come together for Able Gamers. There are millions of people with disabilities who can't play video games without expensive specialized equipment. The Able Gamers charity helps gamers with disabilities by providing that equipment free of charge. Their mission is to create opportunities that enable play in order to combat social isolation, foster inclusive communities, and improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. And because all of your, with all of your generous donations, this weekend we have raised $152,147 for this amazing group, so thank you all very, very much. Still getting set up for our finale speech here. We'll let you know as soon as it goes, as soon as we're ready. So stay tuned for that. If any of you are in the back of the room, come on up front. Get in here. And we are ready for the finale speech. We're going to take it right on over. Don't have to be perfect, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have the camera adjusting, but yo, what's up, everybody? We are at the end, unfortunately, of Games Done Qu Games Done Quick Express live at TwitchCon 2019. Thank you once again to our finale runner, Hayes Blade, for his awesome two runs of Resident Evil 2. <laughs> They said delicious. I would also like to thank, as usual, all of the people who support our events, the runners, the volunteers, the spectators, the donors, the restreamers. All of you guys really come together to make this happen. So on behalf of the staff, thank you so much for everything you've done. We'd also like to thank the Convention Center tech guys who sat with us all weekend while we, while we put on the event. <laughs> At this time, I would also like to thank the Yeti who supported the event with fantastic merch, to Red Bull for supporting us with equipment to run our event, and to Twitch for powering our event. Being at TwitchCon has been a great time for us because it's another great opportunity for us to interact with the speedrun community on Twitch and fans all over. Thank you so much. With that being said, our grand total for raised for Able Gamers is $152,227. Thank you.
thank you so much to everyone for their support and for our new record for GDQ Express. I uh, just wanted to thank everybody, uh, everybody here, and all the people who donated. I mean, this is going to be huge for the Able Gamers charity. There are going to be so many players with disabilities who just want to join this awesome community here who are going to benefit from the generosity of everyone out there. So can, real quick, I'm going to need the live audience to help out. Can we give a round of applause to the speed runners, to the, to the commentators, to the whole team here who absolutely killed it? Thank you. Thank you. And can we give some love to the amazing, amazing, generous people out there who, who helped break this record for GDQ? Can we give another round of applause for them? Awesome. Thank you. Once again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you very much. Now, we have some upcoming dates for you guys. For a lot of you, you already know that AGDQ Games List comes out on October 6th. And on November 13th, our second submission round opens, and this is brand new for GDQ events. Um, basically, any games and DLC released after August 1st, 2019 can be submitted for consideration in AGDQ, and this is our effort to get more newer games into the marathon. And we also have the registration for AGDQ opening on October 7th at 6 p.m. Pacific, with the second wave being on October 11th at 8 p.m. In our efforts to further spread awareness, um, with, we are working with the Able Gamers Foundation during October, which is Disability Awareness Month for GDQ Hotfix. So stay tuned throughout the month of October for speedruns all month long. All right, guys, so that's actually it for us. We will see you in Orlando, Florida for our 10th anniversary celebration. Some games done quick will be live from January 5th through 12th, 2020. Thanks, everyone. Thank